yo so i was talking to my mom about my digital identity being messed with in a way that is like not normal and not okay and i don't think it's legal and then i'm telling her you know it'd be nice if i could get some help from me and she's saying well what do you think i can do well i think you could contact the news with me and you're a lawyer that people generally believe what they say whereas i'm someone who's had my reputation hurt because again i think this has been going on for a long time and when i was trying to say it originally and the, you know i was going through an extended period of people actively messing with me via this thing that i'm talking about uh and it was really problematic for me and it's you know there's some damages so let me even just go in and say hey this is what i think Um, I mean, well, what, I, what I think is like, hey, you're a lawyer, and I think that people listen to you as far as what you say, and you're like an elder in our community, you know, in the like law community here in Houston, but just in, in Houston, and that, um, you know, you might not be able to explain it, but to say, hey, I, Who am I going to talk to? I mean, who is it that you think I'm going to talk to? About? I mean, it's such an abnormal situation. I'm telling you it's new, a newsworthy thing. And, you know, in in the least, just reaching out. Like, there is a, a, a situation which is abnormal around me. And I've asked for a long time if you could help me. And I don't know how you want me to help you. You can't I, really tell me. I just told you. I want you to, I want public accountability. I want you to talk to, uh you know, whoever you can, reach out and say, hey, this is going on with my son. Uh, he has a, evidence of it and people aren't listening to him. You need to actually take him seriously because this is affecting him, me. It affects dad. I can, like, you have to recognize that it might not matter to you, but for me and my generation, and like, you know, especially the fact that I do most of my stuff online, it is a major problem if Something is interfering with my... What, what do you mean it's interfering? What do you mean by that? Well, as I've explained before, like a good example is that Instagram story thing where when I I posted an, an, a series of Instagram stories and they multiple of them got likes by artists that I don't know, that I don't have a connection to, that aren't following me. People with anywhere from thousands to hundreds of thousands of followers and seemingly connections like you know people with bigger whatever's follow them followings and they wouldn't it is abnormal that they would see my story and like it because you have to be following someone to see their story now if follower accounts and other analytic things are being manipulated that is a way that i'm losing out on money that would otherwise be given, you know, otherwise be earned via monetization. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Excuse well, me. Let me go to the bathroom first. Okay. Well, I don't, I mean, I've explained this before and I can't, you there's not, you, you have one before. I just want to say there's not going to be any level of explanation that's going to help you because you aren't technical enough. I mean, if, if what I've described isn't enough, then it will never be enough, but whatever. Part of the reason this is annoying and problematic is I, I have told her multiple times and she just doesn't care and she's focused on anything and everything else, her job, her whatever else. And like, you know, it's actively affected me. You know, I would suggest it's actively affected and affecting her. It is affecting me still. And, you know, it would be reasonable if, hey, you just reach out to the news, Cheryl, and you say what is something is going on with my son he's able to articulate it i can't i don't have the technical expertise but he very much can show and prove out that something strange is going on around his digital identity and digital presence where i'm being cut off or blocked in some way that is first of all immoral but also illegal i mean it's immoral because i think it's a mechanism with which has been used and is being used to literally steal money from me and steal from me so 
I would like it fixed, and I would like it engaged, and I don't think it's so far over her head. I just don't think she actually wants to engage it, which is part of the issue. And people have told her so many times, you know, whatever, that I'm a problem, probably to keep this thing going, uh, that, you know, as far as to keep, well, if they're robbing me and other, you know, whatever, to, to keep that going, right? Uh, because otherwise they can't do that anymore and then they get in trouble, right? And so it's easy to lie to Cheryl because she'll, at this point, believe anything anybody else says about me uh, over what I say and what I can prove even at this point or at any point. Um, you know, she, people are playing on Cheryl's I don't want to be embarrassed feelings, right? And that's wrong. And if that's happening, yeah, that's going to end. So I'm just like, whether she does this or not, I'm just doing this to make a point, especially because she asks like, hey, tell me what I can do. Well, I mean, let me just make a point out of this. You could contact the news. I mean, you could talk to your to, to the rest of our family about it. And there are, I do have cousins who, who should be able to engage this reasonably. So as, if something isn't, hold on. Yeah. Sure. I think, you know, you could talk to, if you don't understand based on what I'm saying, you could talk to uh, Alex or, or Josh or something, someone who I, I could explain it to better. Um, and they might be able to articulate it in a way, but it, it, long story short, something's going on with my accounts and my, our, my connection. All right, well, what's going on? And how do you know what's going on? I, I've told you this before, but what's going on is that people shouldn't have seen those stories and been able to like them unless something, unless there's more people looking at my accounts than I'm being shown. It is, the probability is almost nothing, almost zero that that would happen, that these people would stumble upon my account. I'm, I'm going to say is it is not going to happen. That multiple people with hundreds of thousands of followers, tens of thousands of followers, like, would do that is abnormal. It is, like, highly improbable uh, because you have to be following someone for their story to pop up on your thing unless you are actively searching that person out to, like, um, you know, watch their story or look at their posts and stuff, right? And what I've been trying to say is like, okay, this stuff, I'm not gonna be able to, you don't have just the basic knowledge around these things, but you can take from me when I'm saying, hey, this is happening and it's wrong. And like, I can, you know, I can get Josh and, and uh, Alex or, you know. You haven't told me anything that's going on. That's I've told you it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't mean anything to you because like, yeah, for numerous reasons, it doesn't mean anything to you. But I don't see how any, I mean, how this is actionable. I'm not, so I'm... Are people hacking you? Is that what they're doing? That's my suggestion, yeah. To, but when you say hacking, that's not a, a great way to describe it. But yes, so, so take it as that, yes. And when you're like, well, what's the action? I mean, some of it is, like, I need support, and some of it has to be, this needs public scrutiny and accountability. All right? And I've been trying to say that for a while, and it's just wrong that this is going on. And who is it that you think? I don't know. I'm going to say that off the bat. I don't know who's hacking me. That's the point is to stay out of my sight and away from, like, to keep me yeah, even from what, what, figuring, wait, stop, before you say anything, to keep me even from figuring out, like, you know, I have evidence that like popped up because I think it glitched. I think it did something that they didn't want. The fact that it showed these things when I think normally it doesn't, but maybe they, it got so many, it was so bogged down or something that it these happened to pop up. But I, I mean, I'm not like, part of the thing is I can't explain it to you. I, I mean, I just can't. You don't have the technical expertise or even a basic ex understanding of certain of these things that you need that. And so I, I, 
I can't, I can't fill you in on that now. And you know, when I try normally, it's not something that you're, it's your, it's not your field of, your chosen field, right? It's not your expertise. I understand that. So that's why I'm saying you just like, you know, I do have cousins that you could, that would probably, if I was talking to them about it, they might be able to, in the same way, they might say, okay, it's happening and it's wrong. That's like, in, in fact, Josh has said that about, you know, what I'm suggesting is part of this situation and the way that you engage this and deal with it is some public accountability and scrutiny. Uh, well, I don't mean, what does that mean? Public hey, accountability. Hey, channel whatever. My son has an odd situation where his digital identity seems to be like very publicly hacked, like hacked in a way it, it, as either to, it's not being stolen, is it? My identity? Yeah. I mean, in the sense that it, like, if I'm posting something, right, and I'm not seeing who's looking at it, and, and I should be, is it stolen? I mean, it's being manipulated in a way that is, I believe, is stealing money from me that, like, monetization. Monetization. This is what I'm saying is, like, you're so... Who it, is it that... Stop. Before you say anything else. Before you, uh, like, your generation doesn't quite get that your online presence is something that most people monetize these days if you have any bit of an online presence. And so it is wrong, and I would say, suggest it's taking business opportunities from me, and has been, and, like, you know, it is a problem. And reasonably... Well, well you're making money before this started happening? Off of your... Uh... The reason I'm not making money is because something isn't showing me how many people are actually looking, and if they did, it would probably be a large amount of money. That's like... Can people look and not pay you? Can they just look? When they look, YouTube pays you, right? If, if it's monetized through YouTube, when, when someone clicks and watches your video for a certain amount of time, they pay you for that. If I'm not... If, if the analytics are showing me something that is not true as far as how many people are looking, that is robbing me of not just opportunity, <coughs> it's literally robbing me of money. Just money that would otherwise be in my pocket, right? Well, were you putting money in your pocket? No, 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 no. I don't put any money into this in the sense of me putting money in. Whatever, most of these online companies, when you have a large enough presence, will pay you you know, like with YouTube, they pay you for the number of clicks and impressions and whatnot. Same thing uh, if you have a premium X account, same thing will happen with that. I'm not talking about X. I'm actually talking about, I think all my online presence is being manipulated in a way that I can't even articulate it too well. And I definitely can't do it to you because it's something that seems to be like, um, it, it's like a vaunt as far as uh, a thing that people are doing. Like, I don't see other examples of this, partially because that's the point. It's like a shadow ban, right? Uh, and a shadow ban is when you're essentially banned without like something telling you that and without like uh, obvious uh, signs pointing to it. And it's a relatively common thing with certain uh, stuff, but it shouldn't be that I'm shadow banned across everything is what I'm saying. That is completely abnormal so i mean i'm just saying this and this all just started off as like hey can you can you acknowledge it and that it's like it would be all right if we got it fixed and then you ask well how and it's like well public accountability and scrutiny i just can't I, i'm like trying to explain the basics of hey like youtube pays you per click per view and like you're asking like well what money blah blah before that and it's like no you're not getting it i have a youtube account once you pass a certain threshold of subscribers which you have have you passed the I believe so. I stop before you say anything. I believe so. I believe I passed it a long time ago and that it's showing me a bunk number. And I don't think it's from YouTube that's doing it. I think there's something playing interference between me and YouTube. How are you going to prove that? Some of it is. I can prove some of it like with the Instagram thing. I can prove very clearly people are looking at my stuff in a way that they shouldn't be and they shouldn't be able to. So, and it, and it showed me that they are and they're people with hundreds of thousands of followers. 
So if they're looking, it stands to reason that people with much smaller followings are looking. Why would people with 100,000 followers be looking at you? Well, that's first of all, one of the things within this whole thing, you know, that's what I'm saying. I, why would they? It, it would only be that people are looking at me and trying to pretend that they aren't. It, it's the whole thing when I'm talking about like asking for help with the Stephanie Justin thing and Josh says it is happening and it's wrong. All right. So if he's saying it's happening and it's wrong, you know, it is happening and it's wrong. I can't prove out the totality of it because part of it is that's the point is to keep me in the dark on things. But I mean, I'm just asking for like, hey, like some reasonable thing of like, okay, it is wrong that you shouldn't go through that. Like make a plan and maybe we can tackle it. But some of it is, I just need public accountability. I need scrutiny. Like, I, 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 what does that mean? You I've know, said several said, times, you just contact the news. It's not hard. Like you can fill out a, they even have online forms. Yeah, you could call the news. They listened to, like, mom, the news, like channel 11, channel 13, channel two, they all have stories that are so much smaller than this. Like literally, oh, a bum uh, is back at the corner that he uh, vacated five months ago. That was an actual story that I've that I've seen on like they video like a reporter went out and covered that story. Now my thing is bigger news than that, for sure. So anyway, I I just feel like you have such like you you're like well why would you be special? I mean I think for a number of reasons, but just in the, in any instance something is messing I with my account. I use the word special. I said, why would they be, why would they be interfering with your account? I mean, why? I mean, what is it that I you're could, doing on your, on your account that could I don't benefit the line. them? I mean, one thing is I don't tow, I don't tow the line and I speak out when I see something that I don't like and I, I'm very vocal about things and people don't like that. I mean, obviously you lived through the civil rights era. When people did that then, they got like mauled by dogs or sprayed with a well, water what hose. Are you or, having, what, are you, what are you talking about that people would Okay, I, I can't at? get into, that's not the point of this. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. I'm telling you that someone's messing with me and instead of that, you're like, well, why are you special that they're messing with you? Why wouldn't they mess with someone else? I don't know. I can't give you that answer. I don't think that's the proper, I don't think that's an appropriate line of questioning. I think the appropriate thing is, are you really being messed with? Are they really messing with my son? They're hurting you and they, like, they're trying to hide it. What can I do to fix this? It, it, okay. Again, if Josh said says that, it's happening. If I said that, then you can't tell me what, you want me to go to the I, I told you multiple times. Yeah, it's easy. Not. I don't want you to go. I want you to call them or send an email or whatever. Like it is, you are a lawyer. You aren't a nobody, a, a complete nothing here in Houston. And say to them, my son's being messed with online? Yes, they cover a case like that all the time, actually, all on multiple local news affiliates. Lesser things than this. I mean, actually, they do. Like, literally bullying cases online, they do. That's why this is like, this is a much bigger one. And Josh says it is happening, and it's wrong. So the fact that those two things, he's able to say that, like, I just, you know, I don't know why I'm getting any pushback, but whatever. Me? Yes. You can't tell me what's what's going on and what to do about I've it. I've told you multiple times, you just won't listen to me say, it's not your area of expertise. I'm not going to be able to teach you. I can hardly teach you how to use your iPhone, right? I'm not going to be able to teach you, like, more advanced things about... Uh, like um, YouTube you're, monetization you're, and whatnot. So you're criticizing me for something? No, I'm not criticizing you. I'm telling you the truth. I can't fill you in on the basic aspects of it because generally you're telling me that you I'm have not difficulties you. understanding those things. You're telling me that I'm not helping you. That's you what aren't. You're telling me. Yeah, you aren't. And, and I don't know what it is you want me to do. I, I've told you multiple times and you just keep changing the subject and saying you don't get it and saying that what I'm saying is unreasonable when it's not. They literally have a form you could go fill out right now on your laptop and just say, hey, these people, someone's messing with my son. Uh, like he's trying to engage it, but he can't because they're trying to hide. It's wrong. And if he had some public accountability, a light shined on it, maybe it'll stop. And it's, it's hurting him and it's hurting his feelings. You're going to have the same conversation with Bill Spencer that you're having with me. No, it's because make, no, it's because it's not going to make any more sense to I, him I, I'm not, than it makes to me. I mean, actually, I think it would because you are very well, difficult. Well, you call me. I, you know, this is the thing. When I do, nobody responds. I think the whole point is like, hey, can we prevent Cheryl from helping Matt when we're abusing Matt? I don't want you to. I'm you know, not. Shine and your then it becomes. Kind of and then me. it becomes. Oh, I don't want you to criticize me. 
If I'm being abused and me asking for help is criticizing you, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to change your mind. So I love you. I'm gonna go to the other room and just try to relax. Will you help again. me bring up stuff so I can put on my sheets? And yeah, I'll do that bed. later. Not right now. I just, I just need, I need some time, okay? You're not in the bed right now. I just need some time to like get my head back. So, you know, just finish eating because you're eating. So just finish eating. It'll be okay. I've had to deal with this for years at this point. It'll be okay. So I love you. I'm gonna add additionally, I've tried multiple times to tell her, tell her what, what I think she could do, what, what I think would help, what I think's going on. She just doesn't care, doesn't listen, doesn't pay attention. Like, you know, this is wrong. And it's a, you know, I would suggest it's a massive problem based on what you can see going on in my videos. It, it should be fixed. You know, I think I should maybe send this to my cousin so that he understands what this situation is. Uh, I mean, again, people are doing kind of evil stuff. I don't know if my family is involved. If they are, okay. Well, that's a different, <laughs> that's a different situation. Um, but in any instance, I do know that other people are involved and like, you know, I shouldn't have my, part of my point here is I shouldn't have to explain the whole situation out completely detail to detail to my mom who doesn't even get the most basic part of the subject. Like, Hey, you know, well, I wasn't kidding when I said, you know, you have difficulty doing basic things on an iPhone. Like me explaining anything, I wouldn't to say technical, but anything basic computer related is still a problem. I have to do it over and over and you still don't remember every time. So it, like, this is not a criticism because then when I say that she takes it as like, oh, you're criticizing me. I mean, kind of rightfully because you won't get this, but I'm not trying to. I'm just telling you what it actually is. I mean... If, and then she gets really sensitive and butt hurt, and like I can't, like her feelings being slightly hurt is like blocking her from helping me fix this problem where I'm being, you know, I would say psychologically abused and messed with and and robbed and and hurt in multiple fashions and like you know, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, socially, like monetarily, I think physically it is affecting you know, the thing with my leg that I've described, but in any instance, I, it like, <laughs> I don't know, I can't just keep going over this, but I definitely have evidence that someone's messing with my digital, um, like enough evidence, uh, where it's even like, you know, I would say probable cause worthy that to, to like look into whatever the thing is and not just a, oh, it's a reasonable suspicion. Like there's something going on. I just don't know what, and I can't prove it out, but it, it does seem to have to do with, um, my online identity is being blocked or it's being, you know, altered or manipulated and my online presence is that is happening and I'm being shadow banned to some degree, it would look like. Um, or, you know, like maybe even what I've said, which is this one's the harder one to like get over. Hey, being watched by tons of people, but it's only showing a few people. That's wrong and not the reality of it. And I think that's hurting people and hurt like, cause people are watching and it basically is sending a message to the people watching that says, Hey, you can do this to someone if they don't have support, a support system behind them. And Cheryl is not, as far as what I'm asking for, she's a bad support system. She is not helpful in this regard. And like, you know, I, I'm thankful for a place to live. I'm thankful for what she does to help me, but like, you know, the people have robbed me of money that would like, otherwise I would be living off that. I would be like doing these things that, you know, I think there's opportunities that I'm missing out on. I think all sorts of stuff. And like, so that's how I want her help. It's like, if I'm my own thing, or if this is a family, if, if, if I'm, if our family is like a car or a vehicle, it's like time for her to stop trying to drive because she doesn't have a direction. She doesn't know where she's going. She doesn't really, she's not really going anywhere, just doing the same old thing. I wanna go somewhere with the vehicle that is our family thing, but I can't get her to engage because something is, you know, I believe uh, the thing when I was slandered however many years ago, uh, you know, seven years, 2,520 days, a little over that. Um, it After that point, 
you know, it wouldn't all, it's not always easy dealing with her, but after that point, it became impossible. I mean, like, I lost all trust or whatever, and I've had to gain back some of it, but I'm, I've never gotten that back, and that, you know, that was from the slanderous letter that the Dynamo sent when my mom said we were going to send a deceptive, when we sent a Deceptive Trade Practices Act letter because they were putting on fake tryouts here in Houston that they knew they didn't intend to actually get anybody from. So, um, and then so their their uh, employees sent a letter back saying I said things that I didn't. And again, from that point, it caused a massive, like massive damage to my reputation internally in my family. And I've, I've not been able to like regather it. And that was also used as an opening for people to continue to lie about other situations. And like, you know, when I, like a younger version of me, less experienced, less mature goes through this and is being, you know, it's, it's hurtful. It's psychologically troubling. It's like extremely stressful. And, you know, this idea that people are watching me in a way they shouldn't be. And like, um, when I lash out at people that I believe are participating and I've lashed out at people, her included, I lashed out at her because, you know, part of the thing is that the, the, what is being suggested is that again, like, Hey, my, my mom, my family is participating. Like, you know, I don't know what degree anybody's actually on my side. And it's still like that to this day. And only the idea that you know, I, I, maybe I understand now it's like, well, it's just that she's being manipulated and it needs to end. And it's, it's a problem. And, um, I'm just over it. And so I'm going to keep, <sighs> trying to figure this out and like engage this in a way. And like, honestly, I think this situation is going to be forced like there's uh, like I'm forcing a fix and an end to this but it's so wrong that it went on this long and that it's still going on and that I just again Cheryl just add, like <laughs> what I'm saying is reasonable yeah they cover s like sm so much smaller stuff on the news when she brings up oh you're gonna you're gonna talk to Bill Spencer sure I could actually more articulate it to him if there's a camera on it I mean uh, on us and you know I actually had to say things where I think that when I say it, someone's going to understand it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, regarding analytics and monetization on, you know, videos and, uh, what I think where it's like, I'm stuck on some form of land and like, uh, you know, need to be like off that, you know, something's like containing me in some kind of, uh, land and not, letting me be not like an actual land but you know this this concept of like something more local and then is not engaging not allowing people watching looking in to communicate with me uh and cutting off my communication going out and then also not engaging me reasonably back and forth if there's something else going on you know i would suggest like you know behind the scenes that's a little darker and more nefarious I mean, I would suggest that that's why, you know, the whole uh, lava stuff. So, uh, because how else do I defend myself? You know, the, the lava, the lightning, the earthquakes and stuff. But that's a different story for a different time. I'm just, that would also be when she's asking, yeah, me, me affecting the lightning at all, which there's clearly a pattern of. That is absolutely something. But again, she doesn't believe that there's any value to that because enough people have told her, oh, he's crazy or whatever. And it's like, well, look, any bit of a pattern that you can see where the lightning is like reacting to me or doing anything in any capacity that is a pattern consistently related to me, where I'm able to affect it at all, yeah, that's abnormal. And, you know, people would like... People in position to power do not want that power challenged. And probably a guy that can do that kind of thing would be someone that people would rally around, right? Yeah, okay, that's a reason why. But you'd first have to engage that something strange is going on. And I can't even get her, again, like I said, with the Stephanie Justin thing, which is, I believe, connected to this. Hey, I, for sure, uh, like Josh Stone, my cousin, uh, your sister's son, you know, the one who's a judge here, okay, he's 
like, uh, you know, your sister's a judge, her son, okay, right? <laughs> so, first of all, what I'm getting at is, like, oh, our family should be able to reach out and, like, get something done. But he's saying, hey, the Stephanie Justin thing is happening, and it's wrong. Okay, well, nothing's changed. I told her that however long ago. Do I need to show her the text message? I did. I sent her the text message that Josh had sent. So, like, at some point, it's like, okay, well, you know, I would suggest the fact that you're not just riled up that Josh is saying, hey, it's happening and it's wrong, and it clearly is, and I've been saying it for a while, and people lied to you that it's happening and have been able to hurt me because of that. I would suggest just suggest you stop kind of, like, arguing with me and, like, trying to find fault in what I'm saying and, like, realize that by not just going with what I was saying earlier, people have been allowed to hurt me. And, like, you know, you've kind of empowered that by, like, you know, not engaging this right. I mean, I can understand being manipulated. That that seems to be the case. But it's just, hey, when I'm saying I think you're going to feel bad, that's what I mean. Because by manipulating you, they've been able to and allowed to basically just hurt me. Whether monetarily, whether emotionally, socially. I mean, like, all sorts of ways. So, uh... Okay, yeah, I mean, here's another one where I'm just like, it, it just is the reality of the situation, and, like, some of these things I can absolutely prove out, right? And then there's other things like, well, I don't know exactly know what's going on behind the scenes completely, but I can prove out that something is happening, and that, you know, again, if I could get some public scrutiny, having a bigger apparatus look at what I'm doing, other than just me with kind of, like, my wits... Uh, would probably open this situation up more and then we would figure out what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, the fact that there would be any public scrutiny at all would probably open this up. You know, the fact that she might have to engage like, hey, something is happening. People have been lying to you about me. And like they've used your disbelief in the situation going on around me to hurt me. Yes, I lashed out for a period of time in like 2018 right because the situation was really dark then it's I, again i still think it's pretty dark but it's really dark then and what was being suggested to me by the people who are again josh is saying it's happening and it's wrong it was happening then it was wrong then and it was happening then it's happening now it's wrong now <laughs> and it's still like it's still happening so i, I want it fixed and um you know, I think the Stephanie Justin thing is really the thing that blows us all open. Uh, you know, it's kind of the thing that when my cousin is saying it's happening, okay, it's very obviously happening. This woman with a, again, the power dynamic, whether you believe other things that I say, the power dynamic with Stephanie Justin is she has considerable, like, based on what I can see, if I only have, like, 200 followers on Instagram and this person has hundreds of thousands or whatever, I mean, yeah, the power dynamic is way off. I mean, is that not the case? Do I actually have considerably more people looking at me like I think I do? And that that's being hidden from me? What That is also just legally stealing from me if, you know, analytics-based monetization is uh, at play? Yeah, that is. So, I mean, you gotta... There has to be some legitimate engagement here. And also the fact that the comments that I get on my videos and stuff, it's like, I know that I'm not seeing all of them, and then the ones that I am seeing are specifically like... Uh, you know, just just done by people to kind of elicit a reaction out of me. And, you know, that's what I'm talking about, like being on some kind of LAN. Otherwise, I think I'd be getting significantly more comments and significantly more uh, interaction. And, like, again, this is just a way people are stealing from me. It's a way that I've been cut off from what should be a support system. I mean, with in her instance, kind of my point with the car thing is just do what I say. I can't explain it to you enough other than like, hey, they'll listen to your authority if you say, hey, something's going on with my son. You need to engage him reasonably and rationally. And if he's saying that you're not, like it, it's going to be a problem with me and we're going to figure out a, a solution to work around you to bring it or take it to someone who will fix it, right? Or who will engage it or bring public scrutiny or accountability, which is what I'm asking for. And I think in the light of day, what's happening cannot stand, all right? And that, you know, for her sake and mine, I think I'm owed significantly, like actually money-wise, compensation, 
significant compensation. I mean, I think this is, you know, if I can prove out who's doing it and it turns out to be one of the companies or something, that's a major legal case. So, you know, you get it? Uh, or whoever it is, it's a major legal case, right? So, just to the lawyer there, it's a, it would be a major legal case where I'd be greatly compensated. So, uh, you know, I can't, I can't just keep going over. I can't, and then if she, you know, I say this and she's like, well, why? Okay, like, first can we just, like, uh, before we get deeper down the rabbit hole or whatever here, can we just engage, it's happening, it's wrong, take it out into the public eye and scrutiny and say it's happening and it's wrong, get more eyes on it, where it becomes a lot harder to do that, and when more people are investigating it in a very public way, it actually becomes something that has to be fixed. It can't just be something people bullshit around and never actually engage properly, which is what it's been for the past, you know, seven years or more, <laughs> 2,520 plus days. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but I just like, I'm working on the Maggie Moon mix here. And again, this would also be part of the reason. It looks like all the music from this is like handcrafted for me to make into a mix to put with these video clips where it looks like the music and video clips, like the sound clips go together in a way that is it seems like uh, I'm collaborating with the artists in a way that it is like I can tell you is not. So in order for it to be like that, either th this it, it's like it is no level of coincidence is going to get me to believe that this is not something that is like there's a form of intelligence that is driving this, in other words. But or, you know, just people watching me and they're feeding me music and whatnot in order to generate uh some order out of the chaos. Does that make sense? Like something that, like, a, 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 you know, these mixes where artist music, where the, the music in it, in single form or an EP form or LP, it's like, it, it makes a small point, but they're all like little puzzle pieces to, to the puzzle that I put together. And then you see a real picture from that. That would also be a reason why, because there's people, you know, that threatens an industry, an entire industry where people make a lot of money off music and artists particularly artists that are controlled and manipulated. And, you know, I would suggest that a lot of these artists are kind of being abused or like mess with in the darkness. And, you know, it's probably something like what's going on with me where it's difficult for them to reach out. You know, generally when they do, they get excised from the industry. And when they don't, well, they just stay in positions where people, you know, their music's put in front of people and, uh, you know, they're promoted. That's just what it is. So because I don't toe the line. That would be like the, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't just follow what people tell me. That would be a reason why. But okay, I'm gonna end this here and you know, whether this goes up on my YouTube or just into my computer, it's like, I'm, I think it's important to record these so you see why for seven years or whatever this has gone on like it has. I mean, the whole thing when it's like, when she's asking like, well, what is it? And it's like, well, I've told you and it's like, well, you both, it's like, no, I just told you. Can you just do that? Can you just reach out and say, hey, my son says something's going on. I don't have the technical expertise, but he's suggesting that his identity is being uh, manipulated online and that a, he has a uh, larger following and presence and that um, part of the way that they're doing this is they're actively using, you know, part of this thing seems to be using this Stephanie Justin character uh, in order to harass me and mess with me. And to, like I've said, specifically targeted me in order to hurt my mental health. And like, that's only be become way more obvious to the point where even my cousin Josh, the son of a judge, so he should have at least some capability. You know, he's like a, he's like a working guy, you know, uh, like a trader, energy trader type guy. It, like when he's saying it's happening and it's wrong, you should just take it as, as that. And then you should, instead of trying to argue as to what's going on or uh, why it's going on or whatever. Just like, help me. That's what I'm asking for. And otherwise people are using your skepticism to abuse me and it hurts. And like, you know, your skepticism on top of that just adds insult to injury, which this is why you would regret this and why you would feel bad that you, instead of just engaging me and like listening to me, that you didn't. So. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna film an unboxing of me opening gummy, gummy candies. I bought a bunch of variety packs, so 
a much lighter, more fun subject, which, you know, who's going to see it? Um, maybe a bunch of people, but I don't get to see that they've seen it, which is also, like, psychologically problematic. It's like it creates a space in my head where I don't know what's being seen, what's not, what's what 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 actions that I do are public or what what isn't where my private space begins and where it ends do I have privacy I mean it's my suggestion that people are looking into my private story and pictures on my phone and reacting to it just very outwardly and I there's a pattern of it over a long enough time similarly to the lightning stuff it's like whether there's one exact instance where it's like proof beyond a shadow of doubt or whether it's a pattern over like a a relatively obvious pattern over a long enough time, it shouldn't matter. Like, the pattern over a long enough time actually should hold more weight. But, you know, I do think there are some instances where it's like, yeah, they just messed up or a glitch happened, and, like, I was able to see more than I should, and, I, you know, I, I have the recording of it, or I, I took pictures of it or screenshots or whatever, and I do have that. So, I mean, at a certain point, this just has to end. Like, engage what I'm saying. You need to compensate me for what has happened to me and make up for it. And if that means, you know, whatever I'm saying in the, like, in the Lightning Lab 13 video, yeah, okay, do it. Compensate me. Make up for it. It's reasonable. It's probably in the light of day. It's probably what you would legally re be required to do anyway, so. <sighs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to end this here, so. Get back to work on this mix. Actually, I'm going to record that thing of me opening the gummies. Trolley gummies, so. Yay. All right, anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs>